we need to take the meaning back. People. Yeah. Okay. I think it was a mistake that you showed up and it's caused a lot of tension in the room. I personally don't even feel safe right now. Well, um, and, and I knew that you would turn and start talking over me. I figured that would happen. Um, but I, I, I want to look, look at the youth. I want to look at the youth. I want to. Again, I figured that out. Go ahead and film him. I'm going to answer your question if I can be heard. Um, there are lots of different options, one of which is coming to St. Mark's and they have graciously offered it. There um, is a gentleman that I have had communication with that offered a space indicator. Other people can offer free spaces. Um, I'm currently being uh, allowed to see clients in, a, in another nonprofit that I worked for and volunteered for because they were very gracious about that. When I let folks know that you know what, I can't stay at Youth Pride anymore because I was told that Youth Pride was closing. I was told by the, the leadership of Youth Pride, the board, the chair of the board, that Youth Pride couldn't exist anymore because of the things that we were hearing, because of that way outstanding debt. So there are organizations that are out there that have space that can, can have the youth meet. We need to discuss where you want to go, right? If you want to go to Decatur right near the Marta Station, we can do that. Do you want to come to St. Mark's right near the North Avenue Mart Station? We could do that too. It could be temporary because I think what really we ought to be talking about is what what does the LGBT youth organization for the future look like? Um, you know, Youth Pride started out as a bunch of people who wanted a space, and they got together and they met in the bottom of the E Church in Candler Park, and that's really the core of what Youth Pride is. It's people who want to connect with each other and be together. It doesn't take much money, actually, to connect with people. And we have Daryl, and we have John, we have all these people around, and Lori, and Sylvia, and Jillian, and all these people around who are excited about continuing to help, and they'll do it for free. I did it for free for seven years, every single week at Teen Group. I would do it again, you know? So we can figure this out. We can we have places to go. We can just figure that out.